What's going on there, folks? Good evening. The Earthmaster here on the uh, live stream here with an update video on this Sunday evening, uh, February 27, 2022, about 6.41 p.m. California time. And the uh, latest quake out there shows a 2.3 into the California region. By the way, we have added the EMSC model uh, data onto the Earthquake 3D globe and the USGS uh, agency uh, earthquake activity on there as well. So two different agencies. Uh, the only difference now is you will see uh, 3.0 or pretty much about 2.5 and above in the international fields now uh, compared to uh, with with only the USGS showing 4.0. So just take note, more earthquake activity on the globe due to the uh, added of the EMSC agency data on that uh, earthquake 3D globe. All right, looking at the latest info here on the USGS map, uh, shows some movement out there on the Big Island. Some activity kicking up on the southeast flank, it looks like here within the last hour. A couple twos kicking up there. Uh, just a little bit of swarming kicking up. Also out here along the west coast, around the San Andreas Fault Zone, where that 2.3 just struck. It's actually right smack dab on the San Andreas Fault at 15.4 uh, kilometers for a 2.3 northwest of the Desert Hot Springs area. Uh, activity pretty uh, uh, kind of limited on the San Jacinto Fault Zone today. We haven't seen any further subsequent movement up here around the San Cayetano Fault. Activity there is just kind of at a standstill moment uh, from last night's 4.0 earthquake that struck in this region here. Uh, Ridgecrest and the uh, Nevada area all seeing a little bit of activity today. Nothing significant. Uh, one little earthquake here within the last hour it looks like in the Ridgecrest zone and areas north into Northern California, aside from the 1.5 here at the southern end of the Cascadia, uh, which is a pretty deep subduction zone quake here, 13.7 kilometers deep. The Pacific Northwest is pretty quiet. There's not a whole lot going on. Uh, in fact, the trimmer map here along the uh, Cascadia kind of shows that. There's zip zero, nada. No trimmer activity to report. And this is just kind of an ongoing deal here with the Cascadia right now. Uh, it's been that way up until about December of last year, 2021. So we'll see if we can break that uh, quiet spell here sometime soon. Uh, movement throughout the Montana and the rest of the country, all pretty quiet. Uh, a little bit of activity up around Montana, but nothing significant. A couple quakes, Texas, Oklahoma. One little quake out there in the New Madrid zone at 1.8. And uh, some activity up in the Ohio area. This area has seen a little swarm of movement over the last 30 days or so. A uh, good handful of quakes in this region. Sometimes these uh, earthquakes just pop up out of the blue with some uh, just some variable depths there of the earthquakes that are coming in there. So I'm not for sure exactly what's going on out there in northern Ohio, but uh, kind of keeping an eye on it. Puerto Rico area, southwest region, still getting in on some swarming. And uh, the big picture tonight is going to be the activity kicking up here in the South America region with uh, movement uh, really kicking up here. Around the Chile area, it is in the area where we've seen that uh, mega quake, the world's largest earthquake, a nine point something back in 1960. Uh, I can't remember what it was, a 9.5, 9.6? I don't remember, somewhere around there. Either way, the world's uh, largest recorded earthquake. Uh, we've seen a 5.7 and a 4.7 earthquake within that region of the Peru-Chile Trench, pretty much right around where that nine pointer struck there in the, in the early 60s. Uh, prior to this movement, we have been watching some deeper earthquake activity up north. Uh, deeper in terms of about 92 kilometers or so deeper into the subduction zone. Of course, that deeper activity does put further strain up and back behind it. That's kind of what we're seeing there with the subsequent shallower earthquake activity downstream. 16 kilometers and 10 kilometers for the, uh, the surface quakes down here. Uh, Atlantic Ocean looks pretty quiet. Uh, New Zealand area, there's some movement kicking up here on the GeoNet uh, map here. USGS not showing this activity, of course. Latest earthquake shows a 1.7 around the south region. And uh, general some activity throughout the day today. A couple twos, there was a uh, 4.7 that struck up here north into the area. Uh, that's going to be this uh, 4.8 that struck a little bit earlier this afternoon uh, north of the North Island area. Pretty deep earthquake there, 110 kilometers into the uh, New Zealand zone. Uh, what else we got here? Japan, we did have some swarming activity kick up and just off the coast here of Japan earlier today uh, into the uh, Japan Kuro Kamchaka Trench here. 
some uh, deeper movement in this area to the south with uh, some subsequent uh, surface activity up here to the north. So got to watch this region pretty closely with all the deeper movement that has been taking place here uh, over the past few months. Mariana Trench, Philippine Plate, aside from a couple small earthquakes in that region, look pretty quiet. And the USGS, like I said, not showing a whole lot of activity through the Papua New Guinea, Solomon Islands, or the Samoa area. Tonga all looks pretty quiet as well. But uh, how long is the question of the night? So movement out in the Russia area as well with a 4.7 at uh, 10 kilometers there in Russia. And a, uh, had a 4.8 there in China as well, a little bit prior to that at 10 kilometers. The Mediterranean Sea, Middle East, all pretty quiet except for one little quake around the Crete area. 4.3 and uh, let's see tremor activity is very absent there is no tremor to report like I mentioned here along the Cascadia zip zero earthquakes Canada map all very quiet tonight as well in fact the latest quake here is just from a couple days ago up here in the BC area with that 1.9 uh, back on the 25th all other areas and territories pretty quiet up there in Canada uh, what else we got here? Yellowstone National Park is uh, relatively quiet as well. Some ice quakes and uh, very small microquakes there around the borehole area. The rest of the park looks quiet. No earthquakes at all to report in that region of Yellowstone National Park. And the Solar Weather Department, all pretty quiet tonight, folks. Uh, looking at uh, well, at least a little bit of storming potential around the higher latitudes there over the next couple nights. But after that, uh, pretty green across the board. Only a 30% chance of a sea flare from these eyeballs that are kind of staring us down here on the surface of the sun. Pretty much about the same size and shape as they were when they uh, kind of rounded the bend here uh, a few days ago. So there's some back uh, build up here with some new sunspot development. We'll see how that looks here in the coming days. So gonna cut this one. Uh, gonna cut this one a little short, folks. And by the way, just remember, earthquake activity is on the uh, map here from the emsc model uh pretty much about 2.5 and above so we will see twos and threes kick up here worldwide uh which is pretty important when it comes to monitoring activity in the swarming department like right around the indonesia area <clears throat> and the south america region so just take note folks have a good night stay safe out there and we will chat you guys tomorrow sometime peace out